It's finally there, the new VW ID Buzz. Eagerly awaited by a lot of people, but before we dive into details, I'd say check out the design of the car. And with that, welcome to the Ref Check. As you can tell, there are quite a few details about the new ID bus that remind you of the old VW T1 from the 60s. For example, that window right here. I mean, of course, with the T1, with the old one, you could open that. That's not possible here, but that's minor details. And right there, those slits. The old T1 had them down there for the engine. And at the front, you have the white color and a big VW logo, just like the old one had it. Unfortunately, I cannot yet drive the ID Buzz, but I can at least take a seat right here and check out the interior. And I have to say, it looks really good. I especially like the steering wheel. Of course, this one is somewhat gray right now, which is a light color. I'm not a fan of light colors in the interior, but so be it. Apart from that, the steering wheel is very nicely designed. It has some touch buttons right here, which is not exactly what I would wish for, but it's okay. Another thing I don't really like is that there are no physical buttons right here. So if you want to change something for the climate, you need to do that via the touch screen right here. I prefer some physical buttons, but that is a problem that a lot of cars have nowadays. This car is based on the MEB platform. Um, you can find this platform also in, in the ID family, in the ID3 and ID4. That means that we have the same architecture uh, like uh, you can find in these cars with uh, over the air updates so that this car stays always up to date with software updates uh, we will bring into this car. I remember when VW showed the ID Buzz concept back in 2017, there was a lot of applause. People really liked it, of course, partly due to the fact that it reminded them of that old T1. And people had stories or adventures they lived through in that T1. So I'd say let's take a look at the history of the bus. <laughs> Anfang der 50er ist er der Pionier einer neuen Fahrzeugklasse. Ein Vorbild für die ganze Welt. Deshalb also fährt man überall in der Welt den VW. In general, as you would expect it from a VW bus, there is a lot of space, a lot of headroom, a lot of legroom. Everything feels very wide, so it's very nice in here. I'm gonna check out the rear in a second. What I noticed right now is that the A and B pillar right here will take up quite a bit of your field of view. Usually in a car, you will only have that one or maybe that one, but not both of these, so. That's not exactly very nice. Maybe it would have been cooler if they had made the A pillar a little smaller. It would definitely have helped for the view onto the street. In the rear as well, very much space, a huge headroom, a lot of legroom, nothing to complain about. The seats are quite comfortable, though I have to admit that they are a little harder than I would have expected. 
What's pretty cool about the interior is that there is no leather in here and they used a lot of recycled materials. Material you can find on the seats is uh, um, built of reused plastic. For example, 10% of the material is from plastic you can f we reuse from the ocean. And um, when the car comes to our customer, in the end, it's completely uh, CO2 neutral. So we compensate every CO2 we uh, produce during the production or during the delivery process. As you can tell, the ID bus has a lot of space, just as you would expect it from a van, even with the passenger version. And that despite the fact that you have the 77 kilowatt hour battery taking up space in that car. Of course, you need it for the electric motor to have energy to put it to the rear axle, just as with the original T1. When it comes onto the market, the VW ID bus will first have a 150 kilowatt engine powering the rear. Later, there will be a smaller battery for entry level prices and a bigger version with two E engines, one at the front, one at the rear, and somewhere around 300 kilowatts of power. The ID Buzz is of course also available in a cargo version and as the name suggests it is for people that need to move a lot of stuff and that might be in private or with your business. Something that's very special in this car is that this car is the only one in the segment that was developed as a pure electric vehicle from the starting point on. So we, um, we have a turning cycle of round about 11 meters, that's like a golf. And we have an, an, a space in this car you can find, uh, like you can find in our Transporter T6. So we have maximum of space in the car with a lot of agility and a, a small turning cycle like in the golf. My impression on the new VW ID bus, it is a very cool car with a unique design and it will definitely find a lot of friends. It already has found a lot of friends even though it's not yet on the market. It will come in fall 2022 and before that we will get to test drive it. If you have any suggestions for things that I should check out during the test or for details that you want to know, drop them down in the comments below. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to our channel. That would greatly help us out.